Hey, what's up you guys? Cool Cat here with a uh, neat budget purple blue Valkyrie deck that I've been working on for uh, some new players in the open beta to check out. It's a very fun, quick, aggro style deck. Uh, so let's get into it. All right, just a quick rundown on the list. We have a pretty general budget friendly Valkyrie core uh, with the uh, Freaky Scouts, the Valkyrie Tough, the Road Queens, uh, Stormtrotters Chosen, and the Enforcers. So we can get the, um, you know, the Road Queen synergies, um, the uh, Stormtrotters Chosen synergies, and it's just general good you know, tempo curve to have, uh, you know, Freaky Scout into Valkyrie Tough into God's Blood Transfusion is really hard for most decks to deal with. And then on the purple side, we have just stuff to make our minions a little bit more efficient. We have two of the pocket instants, um, you know, so that we can get Alpha Strike on, for, for example, a God's Blood Transfusion Valkyrie Tough. And then you have four of the racer and shadows for just some spot removal, you know, some extra burn damage if we need it. Uh, two knives in the dark to really help with uh, trading up on a lot of our smaller minions. Uh, two back alley Bronins. It's not too hard to make these into six fives for four with all of our, um, you know, small minions that we can buff up and give overrun with our Demolition Speedway. And then two of the Pentacle of Flavors. It's just a really good tempo card to uh, get the most value that you possibly can out of all of your small to medium-sized drops. And um, I would consider this list very budget-friendly. There's only five rares. The rest are going to be commons and uncommon. Um, two of the rares i believe you start with you start with one of the thunderclap which i only have one of in the list i believe you start with one road queen i did make another one specifically for this list and then uh, two of pentacle of flavors is just going to be a very handy card to have in your collection but the uh, two of pentacle of flavors is just going to be a very safe craft you're going to use those in most of your tempo oriented purple lists and most of your purple lists in general you know so you're going to definitely going to get your use out of the card and you also get your use out of the card in this deck as well the two purple gem requirement is a little on the um slightly more difficult side to hit you know you may have to end up burning some purple cards that you may need in the near future um, but i would say you know don't do that unless you have the pentacle in hand and you're looking to play it this turn or next turn you know and we'll get into that in the uh the gameplay um you know but other than that the road queen uh, is going to be a mainstay in any valkyrie list and then for the uh, path and powers i went with the journey of souls um just to you know once you're little dudes die they pop right back into your hand get you some more freaky scouts um, the racers and shadows uh, just very efficient use of those small minions and then you know you get the uh, value to just play them again the next turn once they pop back into your hand and then for uh, for the power i went with impel impel is just a very good board control based power and this deck is really looking to control the board and get chip damage in and then drop down your uh, black and jotun for some uh, closing finishers and the back alley Ronin to really close out the game towards the um, the mid, possibly mid late. The uh, main game plan, you know, control the board early with your uh, Freaky Scout, your Valkyrie Tough into a God's Blood Transfusion. You know, make a really cheap big guy with the uh, Regen 2 that's really hard to take down early game. Um, you know, and then move forward to your Black and Jotun. Uh, to really close out the game with a, maybe a back alley Ronin onto a demolition speedway just to really get that last bit of push and to uh, close out the game. Uh, but let's go ahead and hop into some games and see how it plays out. All right, so we are up against the Godspore Take the Wheel featured deck. So this deck's looking to play some... Um, some different enchantments on the lanes and then just really make one big guy with a bunch of text. So we right may have to end up closing this game out pretty quick. It looks like we have the tools to do it and the knives in the dark, the demolition speedway and juiced here along with the pentacle. So we're really just looking to um, 
pull some more Valkyries to really flood the board with minions. Uh, but we have a really easy clear on the maze with our Demolition Speedway here, so I'm probably going to drop that next. And then we have our Stormtrotters chosen, so that's really going to help out there as well. Um, so I'm kind of between throwing down the Speedway and the Knives. Um, I'm definitely going to end up dropping this Juiced here. And now probably throw down the knives right here. And then save the speedway for later on. I think we might get a little more use out of it later on in the game. But next turn I'm probably going to drop this uh, Stormtrotter's Chosen. And then maybe trade this uh, the Scout off with whatever they play. Okay, so that's kind of tough. Um, let's see. Is that Deadly Alpha? No, just Alpha. Oh, there's a Transfusion. I may end up actually just playing that. So I'm going to drop our Pocket Instance here and just play the God's Blood on the Scout and just make a really difficult to remove minion with the Knives in the Dark and then that 4 damage is going face while also clearing their board. Let's see what the opponent has up their sleeve now. They're in the fall season, which means winter is coming next, so that means they'll have the Fragile 1, making our Knives in the Dark deal 3 damage to enemies. So that'll only help us. Um, you know, but next turn we could possibly drop the Pentacle on this Scout and just really run him over with this little 1 mana dude. So we have snakes here. I am not worried about the snakes whatsoever due to our knives in the dark. So I'm actually going to drop the storm trotters chosen and drop down the road queen. Um, you know, really try to get as much value as I can out of this little one drop. So this is just a really easy way to just get some easy face damage with the knives clearing out the snakes and then just throwing five to face. Um, it will end up being seven once I drop the pentacle next turn or possibly even the speedway. We'll see how it goes. But I am looking like I'm in a really good spot right now. And that just goes to show how efficient um, this purple buffs are going to be with the Valkyrie minion curve. All right, so they drop down the three seven. So if I throw the pentacle onto my road queen, that can actually clear that off. Do I care about clearing that off is the big question, but that'll also clear it off and keep my Road Queen nice and healthy with the regen. So I'm probably going to do that, drop that down here, clear that off, and then get the 5 damage to face. And I'll probably end up dropping my Speedway down on the Road Queen come next turn to really get some face damage and possibly push for lethal next turn. Cycle down, which is fine. Gives me a free card draw. And it looks like I'm just going to drop the speedway under my scout. Throw that to the face. And I'll drop another scout out here on the side I'll to really clear this end of the board. And we are in a super good spot right now. They're going to drop that down, but that's really not going to do anything at all. I have lethal on board, do I? I don't think I do, actually. 
I'm one off lethal. Let's see. I don't think there's any way I can pull it out this turn. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to swing in to this with this. Clear that off. I'm going to swing this face. I'm going to pop this guy over here to protect it from that 5-7 to really help us and make sure that we get this uh, last swing in onto the snake. And it looks like this is going to be game unless they have a 3 damage removal, which they would have played a few turns ago if they did have, I believe. And they heal for 9, which is a little annoying because that's where they were at last turn. Swing for 5, that's fine. I was still at full health, so I'm not too worried about taking any damage. That is fine as well. Gives me a... Uh, Let's see, oh, there is the lethal with the demolition speedway. So I'm going to pop this guy back over here, clear the snake, swing for face, throw this down here, and GG. Oh, I guess I had the lethal with the thunderclap. I didn't realize that one face. So that's all right. Thumbs up for the thumbs up. Remember to get that mat. And that's a GG. Thanks for watching. So that was the deck. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, like if you like and subscribe for more Mythgard content coming at you twice per week. And thank you for watching.